Okay, so I've just been through the tour of the factory. You've seen that. The real, I, I'm really interested. It was a great experience, to be honest, just to see. that I was expecting a conveyor belt of products uh, all coming together via machinery. It was interesting to see. It's all mm -hmm. made up. Made, it? it is. It's made to order. Yeah, it was really good to see. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I've now moved over to Gainsborough Golf Club, a couple of miles away, and there's a Ping Fit Centre. Alongside me is Paul, product specialist for yes. Ping, and uh, we're going to go through the process. It starts yeah. off with a bit of a you know, it starts off with, a, with an interview process. So we kind of get want to get a general idea of your game, handicap, yeah. shot pattern, uh, distance of your seven iron generally, okay, uh, and really what you're expecting to get from a new set of golf clubs, right. So first question would be, so handicap, so I, I play a fate. Yeah, good stuff. Um, bad shot, did you say? Yeah, what's your, what's your, what's your bad shot in general? Bad shot, a, a bit of a right, a bit of a hook. Okay, yeah. so that's uh, obviously something we want to kind of look at and see if line goal, shaft flex, head tight is going to help, help right. you with that. Okay, hopefully if you can do that, hopefully you're doing well. Exactly. I've had it for long enough. Yeah. Uh, and then the next thing is another question. So seven iron, at the moment, uh, clubs and gaming, um, seven iron sort of around a what, 160 carry, something yeah, so like that. That's where I'd be at, something like 160 that. 160 is a good number. So the idea is that we're just looking to give you consistency. Yeah. You know, distance is a bonus, um, but certainly, you know, we want to make sure that if you draw the ball, if you fade the ball, you hit the ball straight, that you're going to get Does a consistent things. numbers yeah. and you're going you're to get a consistent grouping as well. Okay. So. A few more questions to go through with Paul, and then we're going to get we're going to get some notes. Yeah, of, uh, so we're going to start with a with a static measurement. So we're going to take your height, yeah. the wrist to floor numbers, just to give us a, a starting point to work from with regards to length and line angles. Yeah, and then we'll look at uh, uh, doing that dynamically. So does your swing fit your static numbers? Right. Uh, and then the most important thing really is to analyse the ball flight and right. see actually what head and what shaft flex give us, and can we get better than than what you what maybe have? Yeah. And what that means is going out in the cold means it's snowing it, out yeah, there at the minute, so <laughs> we can't sit here for much longer. No. We'll get back out there, start hitting some golf balls, and uh, see how the whole. But the whole point of this is to show you the process down here at uh, Ping and where it goes from start to finish. So hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see if that is a positive one for me. Maybe. I'm sure it will be. Right, let's go out in the cold. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so you measure 36 and a half inches. Okay. Yeah. And then it's 36 and a half inches. So this is going to be an interesting one with you because 36 and a half inches at six foot, you measure just outside of our optimum okay. area. So with you actually, even though for your height the chart would say statically we would start you on a standard length golf club. Yes. What we'd really want to do is just go that little bit longer. Yeah. To get you in the optimum area. So actually with you we'd start at plus a half inch two degrees upright. So what we're going to do, we're going to put together your golf club, which you measured on, on your static measurement. So this is plus a half inch. It's a green line, which is what you measured statically, um, and your shaft, which is your S300. So that's Perfect. where we're going to start. You get you going. Brilliant. To begin nice with. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do the, the dynamic test. So we're going to get you hitting shots off our impact board. Should leave us marks on the sole of the club. So ideally, we really want to try and get a mark somewhere in that, that central area there. Um, really, we know that your normal shot pattern is a, is, a, is a draw. Bad shot can be a little bit hooky. So really, the last place we want to see that mark is in this heel. But Perfect. if it is in the heel, obviously we're going to look at changing make different the angles and make that adjustment. Okay, so first we hit three balls, tape on, what have we got so far? Yeah, mate? so we basically we're just, it's just showing a little bit in the heel. Yeah. Um, so we know that your tendency is to turn it over a little bit. It is, yeah. Um, so really we don't want it there. Yeah. So we're going to flatten the line angle out a little bit and okay. see if we can get that mark moving a little bit more central, central and see if it just gives you a little bit more consistency with that, that, that bad shot really. That's all right. Right, so tape back on, made an adjustment. What did we do in terms of the so, adjustment? So what we did, we flattened the line angle two degrees. Okay. So we've gone from a green to a black line. Okay, so uh, three more balls hit. Three more balls hit. How's the tape looking now? Really good. So we've gone from 
that mark being slightly towards the heel. Yes, it was. Yeah. You know, and again, you know, that wasn't help your your general shot pattern. Yeah. Uh, so we flattened the angle out. Mark's right in the middle now, and we've we've just strained it out a little bit. Let's have a look at them lines in the so middle. There you mate. go. You're telling the truth there. Yeah, and definitely. Yeah. They're not bad. Yeah, machine. Where, yeah, where's <laughs> the difference? Well yeah, done. Brilliant. So what's next? So next, we're going to look at shaft and see how that shaft performs with the head. Right, so just to keep you updated, Paul's just about to change. What shaft about? So we start off with the S300, we then moved into XP95. Yeah, moved it. we just went a little bit, um, you know, we, we know that you're used to using quite heavy shafts. Yeah. So one thing that, that we looked at is uh, on the numbers, you felt that you wanted to spin the ball out a little bit higher. Yeah, so we kind of went a bit extreme with yeah, the weight yeah. and went really, really light. That did get the spin up, but the downside with that, we lost the consistency yeah. of your grouping. So yeah. we're going to... We're going to dial it back in towards what you're used to and start gradually somewhere in the middle now, somewhere in the middle and see what happens yeah okay so another change in shaft we're on the it's project x lz yeah so that's the next one slightly heavier than slightly again. heavy again yeah we're still we've gone another we've basically gone down to something that was kind of 105 went up to something 104 now we've gone to 114 so we're gradually stepping it back a little bit nearer to what you're kind of used to using. Okay. And it's all again just trying to get this dispersion, yeah, it's just the grouping. Distance isn't an issue, it's, it's trying to get this grouping right for you. Okay. okay, so we ended up, uh, went through quite a number of shafts in the end, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we probably tried the best part of six or seven shafts, really. Yeah, and more about more about the uh, the weight of the shaft, wasn't it? Yeah, was a big thing, isn't exactly. It? Yeah, we kind of one thing that that you wanted to do was to see if you can get your spin up, which we we achieved that. The downside of that is we were giving up a consistency. Ball speed went up a little bit, but but consistency is key. So we kind of gradually worked our way back yeah. to the same weight as your S three hundred. Yeah, and and actually found that. This is the original S300, this white the, the circle white, white, yeah. yeah. And, and actually we got back to, going back to the S300 again, once we tried everything, and what we found was a tighter grouping even more, um, more ball speed, um, got the spin rate up to where we wanted it, around about that five and a half thousand revs a minute, um, and hence that got that ball, that, uh, ball carrying and, and going that a little bit further as well. Yeah, and I think this is the, we, we, we went, into quite some detail you maybe not try you'd always try this many shafts but i think what it goes to show again when you look at numbers like this and such a wide variation between the different shafts it shows the importance of a custom fit and how much different uh, there is between yeah. each shaft i think it? yeah definitely i mean we've uh, one thing we we would tend to find is that people tend to have an idea of what they want to try and they might base that on all sorts of different things you know the distance to hit the ball um the shot patterns and even to what the friends use yeah yeah but ultimately it's all about you yeah. and how you stride the ball and, yeah. and, and what it's doing well as you know my shot is uh, for for those who do watch i hit a, very much a, a right to left and uh, a hook yeah. quite often appears but what we noticed there with the s300 uh, when i started the ball off down that left hand side what it didn't do it didn't exaggerate it, it kept it, anymore, it stable it? yeah yeah, yeah. Well, when we went lighter one thing it did do it got that turn into to a bit of a hook yeah so you know we know you're going to start it left so we want to keep it it at least slightly on that line left. If we can. not 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 extreme yeah so there's no magic cure for your golf swing that doesn't exist does it well we're fitting how, you, yeah we're fitting how you swing a golf club everybody's different how they swing yeah. a golf club you know and and and, and really fitting is all about making those clubs the shaft the loft the lie the length work for how you swing a club spot on that was good so that's irons done should you have a quick look at what yeah we're gonna have a look at driver next look at driver next yeah Bit. Right, okay, so we moved on to driver. As you know, I've been trying this G400 Max CB Alter uh, stiff shaft. 
Uh, Paul took a look at that and we decided to maybe try a few different things in terms of the shaft and see if again we just concentrate on dispersion again. Yeah, groupings. Spin number down yeah, a bit. And... Yeah, we, we know your distance is good, so we know you can get the ball moving. But again, it comes back a little bit to where we saw with the irons, bad shot tendency is to go a little bit left. So for us, it's a little bit more about getting that grouping right. So we've gone a little bit heavier in the in your driver shaft. We swapped, swapped it out to a, um, a hazardous 75 gram um, 6.0. Um, numbers, actually your distance went up a little bit, but, but the big thing we gained was, was a better um, a grouping, grouping again. Yeah. So we can control that, that ball flight a lot better with that heavy, slightly heavier shaft. I think again, and I've done previous videos, as you know, on the G400 Max, been doing quite a bit on it in the last few weeks, and how impressed I've been with it. And dispersion has been the big thing. And again, even with the variety of shafts that we've tried, yeah. dispersion has been apart from uh, this obviously way which yeah. shot on mine. Yeah. The, the dispersion with all the shafts was pretty yeah. damn good to be fair. Exactly, it was. Yeah. I mean, it's it, one thing I think the trend that we're finding with yourself is that actually a little bit heavier shaft, just whether it's a feel thing or. Or, or what it just lets you control that ball flight a little bit more consistently and for me obviously stops that one yes. starting left going yeah, left exactly doesn't it, you we know? want to get rid of that one so again you've seen it with the irons and you see it again with the driver and it is the continued message it's no use i say with all the videos that i do it's one person's opinion is totally irrelevant to you as an individual you have to go and get custom fit because even today it's been really good and i've had a lot of time obviously with paul and to see the difference in all the different shaft types and what it what it means and end results yeah, has been exactly. quite interesting hasn't it? It is yeah I mean you uh, see it all the time I suppose. Uh, yeah a lot a lot um, but the main thing for us it, it's you know distance is a bonus uh, hopefully we do gain distance for most people but we've got to hit with with a driver definitely want to hit fairways. Dispersion that again, grouping's yeah. really important for yeah. us. Excellent okay hope you enjoyed that bit. Don't forget the idea of today's video is to show you what what happens through the whole fitting process and I think whether it be putter drive or whatever it's the you need you need product specialists, you need a, the, yeah. the skilled person on the other side first of all, pointing in the right direction, but for me, once again, I've just seeing what, what differences can be made by getting the, uh, well, for example, the right shaft, the right product. Yeah, hand, exactly. The right I, I think the thing to remember as well is that, is that fitting's for anybody. Yeah. It's not just for, for, for low handicap golfers or experienced golfers, every definitely level. for every level of golfer as well. Ultimately, we're here to, to try and help you to make your game better and enjoy your golf. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, thanks to Paul. Thanks to Ping. It's been a great day. I've really enjoyed it, actually. And uh, now I'm going to go back, drive home in the snow, mate, I'm yeah. afraid. But uh, anyway, if you like the video, uh, thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already. And comments down below. And I'll do my uh, very best to, uh, to get back and answer, to answer them when I can. For the time being, that's it. And I'll see you soon.